All right, welcome back to Adobe Animate CC. In this tutorial, we're going to discover the power of masking. So what I want to do is add a, a, a new layer here. Now, in between tutorials, I actually renamed each of these uh, layers, arrow 1, 2, and 3. And I want to add a layer right above arrow 3 here. And I'm going to double click and call this mask 1, because uh, I'll need one for each layer, essentially. But what I'm going to do is draw out a rectangle on this layer. And before I do that, I'm actually going to create a keyframe right here uh, at this spot, uh, which is the final reveal here. So I'm going to right click and um, insert keyframe. And so what will happen is it'll go from there and then out a little bit. And I want it to disappear probably uh, just as the other image is starting to appear. So not very far, actually. So I'm going to right click here and insert a keyframe right there and so maybe on this one I'll drag back uh, you know like one frame here just so it starts at the same time here so between here and here basically is what I want it to happen so um, what I'm gonna do is on this frame here uh, what I need to do is draw a rectangle and so I have the rectangle tool selected here and uh, in the properties palette, it, you'll see here I have some properties as I start to draw it. What will happen is uh, I'll have, you know, a fill which I can adjust the color, whatever I want. I had this color set up before and I dropped the opacity a little bit because I want to be able to see through it and I don't have any stroke. So what I can do now is reposition this wherever I want, but I kind of want it to be over all three essentially. And at the end here, what I wanted to do is actually um, move up. So um, from here to here. And so what I need to do is actually right click and um, uh, clear keyframe. There we go. So that I have this frame here so that when I create a new frame, uh, this rectangle will show up. So um, I need to do that in order to see it. So I would say about here would be good. So right click, insert a keyframe. And what I want to do is at this point, I want this to slide up because what the mask does, it reveals the object. So I want it to be here this whole time and then all of a sudden drag up real quick up to here. So now we have two points. We have a start and an end point. And then in between here, I can right click and create my classic tween essentially. So it's very short, but what will happen is it'll basically hide the, the image here. Um, in order to see it, we have to basically convert this layer to a mask. And you do that by right click and go down to mask. So what will happen here is you'll start to see it disappear. See that? So that's what I want to happen with each of these. I want it to disappear. Basically, the mask reveals uh, whatever it is that you're working on. So what I could do is I could right click and undo the mask temporarily so that I have it here. And I could do that same thing with duplicating. So I can right click and duplicate layers because I'm going to have, you know, three copies of this basically is what I want. So right click and uh, duplicate layer. And what I want to do is have each mask right above each arrow essentially. There we go. So I will rename these. Uh, mass one is fine, but I'll call this one mass two. And that way it's above arrow two. And then the final one, mask uh, three, which is above arrow three. And the placement actually is fine for each of these um, because this is when I want it to happen. I kind of want them to simultaneously disappear here. So for each of these layers here. So with each of these, uh, what I can do is right click and choose mask. So each layer I could do that. So right click, choose mask, and then the final one, right click and choose mask. So now as I move along here, you'll see they all three start to disappear at the same time, which is pretty cool. The only diff thing we need to adjust maybe is uh, bringing out just a tiny bit for each of these and then adding a transition here for the mass. So in each of these, uh, I'm going to provide a little bit of ease out for each of these. So just a little smoother if I can. 
it won't be that noticeable but it will be a little bit it's just a little bit of ease going on there just makes it a little cleaner as it happens so let's test this out I'm gonna zoom in here and uh, let's hit enter you got the three arrows they disappear and it happened really fast as you notice the disappear um, let's play that one more time boom 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 and it's almost instant because it's so quick I don't mind that but if you did want to um, have it not quite so jarring we'd have to uh, essentially increase the animation um, and I might do that in a later tutorial I might finesse it in between times but um, all I would have to do just to give you an example here is I'd probably extend each of these just a little bit further so um, if I can click on it sometimes it's a little hard to click but there we go each of these points would, that would be the first step to increase this a little bit so we get a little bit more transition there and actually it doesn't cover up right we could go as far as here because we could have the arrow and the figure at the same time so actually I think I'll do that I'll kind of drag him over to about there with each of these let's see how that would look now let's go ahead and maximize our scene here And then we'll hit enter and we'll see how that works. I'll have to let it flash one more time. Enter, boom, boom, boom. Get a little more transition there. That's kind of nice. I do actually like the transition a little better. We have an issue with the keyframes. Uh, and we need a stopping point, essentially, is what needs to happen here. So that's why these arrows ha are appearing here at the end. We kind of need a stopping point for the animation as it loops. So in the very next tutorial, we'll fix that uh, in Adobe Animate CC. Until then, cheers.